Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the full moon under the astrological sign of cancer. This is a general reading. It may be your reading. It may not be your reading. But if it is, smash that like button if you could resonate with something that's said. Okay, remember it takes some time to develop the message, but here we go. Holy Spirit, Angel Guide, Spirit Guides, what is the message? It's the primary energy under this full moon. For whoever will stop by to see the message, we open up with the Eight of Swords. Free your mind and your soul will follow. Whoa, free your mind and your soul will follow, right? That's what I hear. The Eight of Swords reverse is about coming out of your thoughts, being trapped, you know, a lot of times we put ourselves in the situation we're in because that's all we think about. Your thoughts control your reality. Whoa. Speak, spirit. Yeah. You know, there's... When I was a child, I acted like a child. Wow. I... Hang out with me, guys, because I feel this spirit is like, woof. Okay. Knight of Wands reverse is growing up there's some maturity here it's like you can't do what you've done what you've always done because you don't want to get what you've always gotten so you have to mature you have to take things seriously take people seriously um understand right there's growth happening here for me, seeing the Knight of Wands, what you say, what you do. Somebody is actually realizing the impact of that. And um, they're not being reckless anymore. They're not being as cocky with their words. They're choosing their words wisely. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, somebody also... Upright, I feel, you know, you're very in and out and consistent. I, I feel that there is some maturity in this Knight of Wands, and it has to do with what they say. They're more cautious of what they say, the words that they use. Okay, what else, Spirit? Full Moon Energy, right? Because something major has happened um, in the past. Maybe something that they said was taking out, taken out of context and things blew up. Um, something unexpected occurred. Mm -hmm. Just based off of words, our words are so powerful. Um, and you're being reminded of that under this full moon in Cancer. Yeah, because, you know, the chariot, some of you are traveling some of you are traveling and somebody, I'm being told to be conscious of the road rage. I don't know if you're in a car, on a plane, something with somebody blowing up, like not holding their temper. You're traveling and I see an explosion. Somebody blows up. It's their words, what they say. Okay. But for others of you... You are, something may have happened regarding something that was said and um, you're definitely choosing your words and you're just much more mature about how you present yourself, how you show up. You are more prepared in um, any type of communications, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody said something that caused things to blow up. Some major words were exchanged here. Yes. I know. Dang. Look 
look at this reading. Look at this reading. Okay. They're not at peace. They don't feel connected to their self. They want to get away. Somebody wants to get away. Mm. So that they can feel more balanced. They kind of feel stuck. They feel stuck and they wish. Right. Okay, I'm getting it now. This is about somebody who wished they weren't all caught up in their head. Something was said. It caused an explosion. Now... This person, whoever said it, first of all, feels bad about what they said. Um, yeah, because they realized it was cocky, it was hurtful, and they want to heal it. They want to heal the situation. Ultimately, they want to heal it. So let's, even though this is the last card, whatever was said, the Knight of Wands, that was totally not necessary um could have caused a friendship to blow up a relationship to blow up words that were exchanged that you know really created some tension made life difficult things worked out in a negative way rather than a positive way mm, words hurt and so now though you know, you always have the ability to change the situation around. Somebody's hopeful. Um, time has transpired. They don't know how much more time needs to transpire to turn this situation around. But, you know, they want to bring some truth, some clarity to the situation. Some people are ready to get honest about these words, about some words that were said. Somebody's ready to be truthful um, maybe, you know, they weren't in the past, but going forward, um, because they want to heal the situation. They want to come out of feeling trapped by this situation. Yes, spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knight of Wands. Yes. Um, the Bible says you, your words are like a knife like a sword they can cut somebody down cut them so deep you can't even see the blood whoa yes but still they're hurt they're cut look at that five of swords bottom of the deck that's what i'm talking about that cutting mm. nine of wands reverse what else spirit If this is some when the nine of wands reverse, I'm feeling like they weren't enlightened. They were unawakened to what they said to um, the fact that the the way they were talking, their delivery, their energy would only bring more of that energy. They weren't enlightened to that fact you know if you show up positive happy or at least not trying to agitate to bring drama then that's how you show up but this person again maturity uh, i'm feeling they matured because they can't, don't want to be held accountable for what they didn't know in the past you know, relationships are something that um, things happen unexpectedly. We are in each other's life for a purpose, for a reason. Mm -hmm. Somebody comes into your life and gets that close to you that they can have an impact like that. There's no coincidences. That was part of the plan. Um, that was to... Have you looked more thoroughly at the people that are in your life and how you motivate those relationships, how you build them? Mm. Yeah, because this is all about coming out of your head, your thoughts, um, working with pure intentions. Under this full moon, somebody's being enlightened to share when you have seven cups, you have a lot of people around you, different emotions, and 
you're building relationships. Your words build relationships. Mm. Okay. What else, Spirit? Your words build people up or tear them down. Very, okay. Yeah, that is that Five of Swords again on the Ten of Swords. And, you know, swords are communication, your thoughts. And we opened up with a communication. Somebody hurt with what they said. They didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. Six of Wands, upright. Yeah, I see that someone's able to turn this around. Maybe with a, I'm sorry, um, getting real, the truth. You know, we're called to do our part. Like if you're being told to say you're sorry to somebody and they don't accept your apology, it's okay because you're doing what you're being told to do. So um, you can let go of that situation and move on. You can't control how they receive your apology, but that apology, that forgiveness that you're asking for is for you. Not for them. It frees you from that situation. Mm. I feel like this is just a transformation of um, somebody realizing they get so much more with honey than vinegar. Their words that they use in situations should always be to uplift somebody. And... Mm. Or don't say anything at all. The higher fan. Yeah, this could be some type of family member, um, somebody you live with. But this is definitely some clarity being imparted, some knowledge, solid knowledge with the Queen of Swords. You know, the Queen of Swords is mature. You're your king or your queen, they are mature. And you started with immaturity and you end with your intuition moving you to clarity, awakening, maturity. Things work out. Things work out in the future. Um, you have the star here. Mm. This is a general read, so it doesn't really matter about the signs. Yeah. Look at that. Queen of Wands, justice. Things work out for you. Wow. Look at how beautiful that ending is. The star is qualified by the Queen of Wands and the justice card. This is not just for how other people are impacted, but it also, you feel good when you do the right thing, right? You feel balanced. You feel um at peace at peace and remember the six of swords was reversed at the center of your reading so just by changing you the hermit is all about you being in touch with you and listening to your intuition um the third eye here on top of the hierophant this is a, a very important relationship um person uh, lesson, okay? All of this is important. This changes your morals, your beliefs, the fabric of your life. Whoa. Queen of Swords here. Look at her. She's mature. She does what she has to do. She says she's sorry when she is. Asks for forgiveness, apologizes, um, extends her hand. That's right. Does what Spirit's telling her to do. Mm. Yes, Hierophant qualifies her. And then as a result of that, you get the star, another queen. You know, you're respected. Whoever does this, you get immediate respect. You know, you bring peace. We are the peacemakers these days. Oh, I love this reading. Holy Spirit, angel guide, spirit guides. Yeah, this just flew out. I didn't even ask my question. Holy Spirit, tell me. Mm, is there anything 
else that you want to say to this person who is the king or queen of wands, feeling at peace, feeling healed by the action that they take to change themselves? Mm. Mm -hmm. This is what I was talking about, that forgiveness, that heart-to-heart -heart apology, opening your heart. Doing what you're being called to do to uh, bring peace to the situation. Mm. Yeah. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And, and that's what is important. Having these heart-to-heart -heart conversation clears your energy. Remember I told you helps you the hermit reverse to move past the conflict for yourself. I mean, you can't force them to accept your apology or your forgiveness, but this releases you. This releases you from that past experience with them because you apologize for maybe what you said, how you said it. Yeah. And it just allows you to move on to, um, you know, have a spirit of fun and to shine. And boy, do you shine. That's what I'm saying. People respect you. They're attracted to you. Um, you have a glow up here. You know, this is the right thing to do. And you do it. And as a result, you recapture everything that you lost. I even think this person comes around. That's why you opened up with the Eight of Swords. Not a worry in the world. Feeling free. Liberated. Yeah, you receive justice for turning this situation around. Wow. I love this. I don't know who this reading was for, but I like it. Oh. <sighs> If you did too, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Tell me what you could get into and what you resonated with. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much for your love. And until the next moon phase, namaste.